Hello everyone, my name is Shade and today I'm going to talk about a little bit of a tool that I was working on. But first, here is my uh, Affliction League character. It is um, currently a level 98 chieftain called the Duck is Iffy. I don't really know why it's called that, but there you go. It's uh, pretty straightforward, the um, very popular at the moment, explodey, fulcrum, MF finder character. I've had a lot of success on this. Uh, Abysses are obviously the uh, current strat, but um, I'm getting a little bit bored of it if I'm being honest. Uh, but I was able to uh, just go and buy a, a Mage Blood and, and some other bits. I know you can use Biscos, and I was predominantly using that, but I ended up just switching for this for because it's better. Anyway, it, it's better in terms of quality of life, you know, constant speed and all of that stuff. But uh, my, my gear is not even corrupted, actually, but I do have um, I do have 90%, so uh, I don't need, like, the, the level 21 purity of fire. I don't need the uh, corrupted cloak of flame for it. But this is an interesting thing, because I'm kind of probably going to work on getting those corruptions, getting the uh, extra maximum resistances from uh, the items, and then switching off all four of these four points, which normally this is, you know, plus three fire res, so... Uh, you would you would take these, but if I'm already at 90, I'm, I believe I can get the uh, that which was taken jewel, put it in one of these um, empty jewel sockets that I have, and then you know remove these, uh, get the two, get the corruption from that, get the corruption on this, and then get that which was taken jewel for the three maximum resistance that way. Uh, this will give me an extra four points to put in, say, an extra medium cluster jewel or something like that. So. It'll be interesting to see if I can do that with the last couple level ups as well. In any case, I wanted to talk about the Wildwood charms. Now, when I first started this league, I knew that the charms were going to be just absolutely amazing. But one thing that I, I didn't really anticipate was uh, how difficult it was to figure out which charms are particularly good for your build. Other than the fact, you know, just choose the obvious sort of ascendancy kind of things. Choose stats that you already have, increase what you have and so on. I mean, for this build, I'm actually just using the maximum fire resistance and not even the uh, the big, you know, 1% explosions because I feel like the 5% on its own from Chieftain is more than good enough. There it is. I feel like that's just fine. I don't need, what would be, 8, uh, potentially 9%. I, don't, I just don't need it. And it's so expensive to get that. So I just went for the two max fire res on these. And then I just started buffing the uh, endurance charges. And this one has... Um, I found this one, it was covered in ash, uh, which I thought, yeah, why not? In any case, this is obvious, but I, before I made this character, I actually did a Iron Commander Deadeye, I think, and figured, well, what charm should I get for that build, you know? The main thing that I was looking at is, is this is generally what you, you find. So you can also go to like POEDB or whatever, and I believe Craft of Exile is working on charms. Um... Still working on adding charms, textures, keep posted. Okay, so they're working on that. So that's, I'm sure they'll do a great job. But this is, this is kind of what I was doing. Let me zoom in a little bit for those who are potentially on a TV or something. So I would look at this page and you would say, okay, well, here are the rules. Oh, you know what? Let's just give this guy a ring, huh? Things I do for 20C. Yeah, he doesn't even want it. Story of great life. D&D. So the charms are unmodifiable, and according, assuming this is all correct, which it should be, the charms, there are, there are three types, and they align to an attribute. So Ursine is Strength, Lupine is Dexterity, Corvine is Intelligence. And those attributes align to the classes. So you have Intelligence is Witch, Templar, Shadow, Dexterity is Ranger, Duelist, and Shadow, and Strength is Marauder, Duelist, Templar. Now what this essentially means is that if you look at the spawn weights, you'll see that this is a strength and it obviously aligns to the strength class. And if you go down, you'll get something like a dex animal charm, which obviously aligns to a dex class. Now this is a dex and strength, which means it can be either a ursine or lupine charm, which means it can mix classes from all of these six classes. Now this isn't particularly great in terms of, this page I mean, isn't particularly great at displaying what combinations of charms that you can have. Because what I was doing is, let's say I wanted banner skills have no reservation. This is a dex and strength, and of course this is a prefix because it is champion champions not of the champion so of the champion would be a suffix so this is a prefix 
And you can see up here that this is an Ursine charm. So knowing this, I, I would go, okay, so I want this. This is my uh, my prefix. So what can I what can I go and get? Th there are two ways to do this. So I, I would look here and I say this is dex and strength. So I can have strength and dex suffixes. So you could go down on this uh, table here and say, okay, right. So I can have uh, anything that's strength and dex. So I might look up strength, go down, say, okay, so I can have stuff like uh, banner reservation mixed with leeches instant or cannot be stunned. And there are so many, it becomes a bit annoying, right? To, to look at all these, what, what combination going to have? I don't know. It's hard to tell. And it's hard to get a good idea of what you actually want when there's so many to actually look at, because not only do I need to look at these suffixes, you go down, here's the next charm and you look at these suffixes as well because these also have a strength and, and dex uh, suffixes. So another way you could do this, is I might look up the banner skills have no reservation a charm here. And then you might go, okay, this is great. So now I can start to see all of the suffixes that it can pair with because it's only going to show you those. Now I might put in something like uh, has a suffix modifier, right? And this would uh, then remove anything that doesn't have a suffix. So that would be banner reservation on its own. Those are now gone. So I could start to see which ones can I can I have? And you might say, well, when you create a banner, you might have gain eight life. But the downside of this is that it will show you the same one multiple times. It's not grouped in any way because it's just a trade site, obviously. It's going to show you all of them. But let's say in addition to this, I want to actually filter out ones I didn't like. So let's say I cannot be stunned by hits you block. So I'll do put in the not modifier and say cannot be stunned. So then I don't want to see that anymore. And you see that, that those ones are gone now. So, and eventually you could whittle away at what you don't want. And then eventually you'll, you'll see something that you actually really do want. And this is a good way of perhaps finding uh, an ideal charm. If you, if you're not sure what charm you can have, but this got me thinking. And because uh, craft of exile isn't updated with charms just yet, I thought I would uh, go ahead and make one. Uh, myself and this was obviously done before i rolled into the mf character that needed very obvious charms regardless i i went and i went ahead and, and made this uh tool here so this is my uh, repository for any tool that i plan to make or have made in the past i'm just going to put it into this one repository now i did used to do it in uh, different ones and i'm slowly kind of moving them all into one tool or one uh, url in, instead one repo so at the moment i've got two in here i have my old sentinel planner uh, from the uh, event that happened about a month ago or whatever it was. But I also have this new one that I've just finished today or roughly uh, an hour ago. And I have this charm finder. Now, if you want to uh, give this a go, I'll put the link in the description and you can try it out. Do keep in mind that <laughs> I, I believe it to be working currently uh, correctly, but if there are any bugs, just let me know. But either way, it's, it's a pretty neat little tool. So it works how you might expect, but the layout of the data is quite different to this page here, for example. So let's say we go back to the example I just did with the banner reservation. So I can type in banner and it will just um, make anything that isn't sort of matching this, this text opaque. So we should be able to find uh, banner skills have uh, no reservation pretty quickly. And I'm pretty sure there are no other things related to banners in the prefixes. Yep, but there is uh, a couple suffixes. So that's maybe something you would consider. It's a really good way to just highlight, you know, let's say you wanted power charges, right? So now I can see there's uh, one, two, three mods there. There's a suffix. Oh, there's another prefix here in the occultist. It's a really good way to quickly find something related to uh, power charges. So let's just go back to banners for a second. So now what I can do is I can click on this modifier and instead it will it will clear the search field. But instead, what it's doing now is that it's going to filter out any suffixes that cannot be used with this prefix combination. So you can't have a champions of the elementalist. It just doesn't exist in the framework of how the charms work. If we go back to this wiki right here. You'll see that um, what did I select? So this is champions of the elementalist. So for example, the champion would be uh, strength only, I believe. So it's the, it'll always be an Ursine charm. So the Ursine charms can only work with Marauder, Dawless, and Templar, which means anything that's related to, um, you know, a witch or an intelligence only uh, charm or class, uh, it, it'll be filtered out. Go down here, no necromancer, no occultist. There you go. But you'll notice as well that it will show things like the, the, the decks as well. So you can have Obvious Assassin because 
it is also part dex. Now you notice here the champion is strength and dex. So anything that is strength and dex will show. The only thing they can't have is a combination of int only. So that rules out those three. But pretty much everything else is fair game. If I go to elusive effect, and you'll notice now that we have a combination. Charm will show down here based on the selection that we've done. So we've got banner skills have no reservation and elusive effect. And this will be a champion's lupine charm of the assassin. It might be, um, it might be, it would be either a strength or dex. So it could actually be a lupine or ursine. But either way, if I click on trade, it will go to the trade site and it will show me banner reservations and elusive effect. And you can see here that all of the filters have been pre-filled. And then you can get an idea of, you know, roughly how much this might cost for you. Okay, let's try this uh, again. And what you can do is you can just click clear and it will go back to the start. Um, let's say I wanted the uh, fire resistance one, right? There's a chief down here. What I'm going to do is do uh, suffixes to begin with this time. So previously I did a prefix. Now I'm just going to select a suffix. And you'll see that this is strength. So it's going to match any strength nodes. But not dex only so nothing you can't have dead eye uh you cannot have uh assassins here because this is uh, an int class you cannot have necro occultist pathfinder raider saboteur uh trickster can't do that but you can have like endurance i mean the the really insane one would be of course the explodey so this would be the the uh the ideal one for my build but this is crazy expensive so there we go. This is the 1% uh, max fire, and that's already 214 divine. But you get the idea of how the tool works. Clear that. We can do it either way. So you can choose a prefix first or a suffix first. It doesn't really matter. It won't let you choose a combination that will not be available on trade. So it doesn't really matter what I click here. It should always find the charm based on your selection. But there you go. So that's my, my little tool. I don't know if this will help anyone, but if it does, please... Uh, give me some comments about it and I'd really love to to hear any feedback for it. There is one thing that I would like to preface at the moment. I think if you look at something like Elusive Effect, for example, or the Fortify, it goes from 5 to 10 and 11 to 20. Now, a thing to note about the trade site is that these two stat IDs actually have the same internal ID, which means that if I click here and I click trade, um, you'll notice that it will just be uh, suffix 2 or tier 2. Um, and this is because I haven't yet done the minimum value values for these modifiers and that is the only thing that actually dictates whether it is is tier one or tier two for example but that that stat is the has the ins, uh, the same internal id which is why i haven't made it work in the exact way you might expect so for example this one and uh this one it will find tier one it will find tier two instead of tier one um but so just Keep that in mind if you are using this tool. That being said, I will fix that in a future build within a week or so. So if you do give the tool a go, please let me know how you how you like it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, keep an eye on the GitHub repo. If you're interested in tools similar to this, I will just, I'm planning on doing all of my previous tools that I've built into this repo as well as any additional uh, tools that i built over the years to come uh, for path of xr will all go into this one repo if you have any ideas for tools let me know that as well all right that's all i've got for today thank you for watching the video i hope your affliction league is going as as well as mine yeah have a good one bye, -bye.